Hi everyone, this is Joseph with the Flying Pigeon Bike Shop and I want to take you through the shop to show you what I've got in stock this week. Right now the camera is pointed at a Gazelle Basic R7T. This is a 7-speed Dutch bike, which means it's from Holland. Um, it's got a coaster brake in the back, a Nexus 7-speed powering the bike. Um, it's got a full chain case, frame lock, dynamo in the front of the, front of the bike to, as a generator, which powers the headlight as well as the taillight in the rear. A pretty sweet bike. This thing retails for about $1,100. And right next to that are some very affordably priced city bikes. These are from a small Taiwanese firm called XDS. Uh, it's the model, it's called the Nadine. And we've got two here. They come in very small sizes, 15 inch and 17 inch. Um, we've got one in kind of a sky blue and another in a mint green. I just added these to our um, online store so you can uh, check them out there. Up on the wall, I've got a few uh, helmets from a company called Burn that just came into stock. These are the Burn Alston, and then we've got a few of the Burn Watts and then a couple of Berkeleys left over. The Alston is a lightweight, um, like more ventilated version of the helmets that we normally carry from that company. Uh, we've got some knit and soft calfskin gloves with knits knitted on top, some Los Angeles cycling caps. And uh, just like last time I showed you guys, we've got a lot of cool books and literature, very affordably priced from Ellie Blue, from Bikey Face, and my good friend Richard Reisenberg. Um, we also have a selection of these frame locks. These are from Tree Lock and uh, uh, one down here from Avis. Both, are, both of these locks you can plug um, one of these locking chains into, and uh, the whole setup usually costs about $100, but it's a really convenient and just a really neat way to lock your bike up. It keeps the, both wheels secure, uh, only one key for both locks, and it's a pretty good way to protect your investment. Up on the stage is a 22-inch Pashley Roadster Sovereign. On the other side of a room, other side of the room is a three-speed beater bike step-through. Um, here in the middle of the room, we've got one of the classic beater bikes set up as a three-speed. I just built this the other day for someone who wanted to test ride it. Sitting next to that are a couple of these bikes, again from that Taiwanese firm called XDS. Uh, these are the Explorer CT model and these come in like a, I think it's a 19 inch for the men and then this is a 17 inch for well it's I guess it's kind of a unisex bike really not really a woman's frame um, and these are $315 really an affordable excellent bike for bike paths and little adventures around town next to that is the Worksman LGG if you own a cafe or a restaurant and need to carry a lot of stuff in the front to do deliveries this bike retails here for $750 um, next to that is a Setma Margo from Venice where these are handmade by Lane Kage. Sitting in the front of that are a couple of Yuba flip-flop kitty uh, run bikes, and these are great for kids from ages about two and a half up to like seven or eight, really. So you get a couple of years of good use out of them. They're a little pricey as far as run bikes go. These are 150, but like I said, you get a really nice lifetime out of them. It's five or six years of solid use. You can flip the frame on the blue one here. The teal one is set up as a uh, the smaller size, and then the like curving downward and the other one's curving up and that's the pink one and that's made for set up for a bigger kid we also carry these yep uh, maxi seats and speaking of kids and kids bikes we've got these 180 dollar kids bikes from firm strong these are 20 inch wheel size they come with matching fenders the little pink one comes with the free basket um, up in the window is a three-speed flying pigeon and I'll turn around, and here, of course, are Brompton bikes. We've got a lot of cool stuff from Brooks in the shop these days. Around here are some of our Linus bikes. There's a, a Roadster Sport in, they're calling that Olive Green, and then there's a Sky Blue Sage Mixty um, with a shopping bag on the back. And that shopping bag has a couple of Linus catalogs in it. Uh, we're back in stock with my favorite uh, rear pannier basket from both Linus and Basil. These are an incredible value and just a really handy accessory for your bike. We've got some more of our bike propaganda here. Really some fun reads from eight to $20. Most of them like 10 or 12 bucks. And uh, yeah, back of the shops, something of a mess still, I'm working on it. <laughs> All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Um, if you're in town this weekend, um, I'm doing the Spoken Art Ride on Saturday evening. We're gonna tour some art galleries, have a good time. You're welcome to come on out, meet here at 6 o'clock. We roll out at 6.30, and uh, here's some dynamo lights. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Take care.